Hey guys, new video. Um, I've got some new makeup to show you, so I'm just going to get into it because there's quite a lot, as usual. The first things I'm going to show you are some things that I got from the Tan Beauty website because they had some new Halloween goodies, so I couldn't wait to pick these up. This is the Makeup Revolution Beyond Vamp Matte Lipstick Collection, and there are three lipsticks in here. The packaging is different to the normal Makeup Revolution lipsticks as it's a nice burgundy sort of colour. Um, this is Beyond Vamp probably the brightest out of the three. This is Ultra Vamp, which is a dark purple. And then we have the one that I'm quite excited for. This is Give Them Darkness, and this is a grey. And I know that Smashbox have a grey lipstick. I can't remember what it's called, but you know, if you did want to try grey lipstick and you like matte formulas, then this might be a little kit that would be nice to go for. I can't remember the price, whether it was £6 or £4, I think it might have been 6 but it's well worth it for three matte lipsticks. Then they came out with two new eyeshadow palettes, Makeup Revolution are the producers of these as well, and there are 16 highly pigmented eyeshadow shades. In The Dead or Alive there are 13 shimmer and 3 matte, and in Give Them Darkness there are 10 shimmer and 6 matte. So I'm going to show you the Give Them Darkness first. This has a lot of dark, smoky colours in it. You have your nice black and white there, a bit of an orange tone matte colour and then the rest are just lovely smoky shades. I will do a couple of swatches. So this is that nice matte sort of orange. Then one of the greens, purple. And these are some of the other shades. This is the same quality as all of the other palettes that look like this, so if you've got one of the other ones then you'll know exactly how good they are and how pigmented, but yeah, this is the shade selection. Then this is the Dead or Alive. This is a cool toned palette. This is what this one looks like. I don't know which ones to swatch. I'll do this bronzish colour, this matte, this blue and one of the highlighter shimmers. This is what they look like. But again, it's the same as the other palettes. If you've got any that look like this in the black shiny packaging, then you will know exactly how good they are. Now something that got me very excited was the little kits that they had. So this is the vampire one and then I think they had one that was a black swan and that was all black and silver themed. I thought this one looked a bit more exciting so um, I got this one rather than the other because there's only so many shades of black and silver that I want really and this had a few other options in it. So you have an eye dust which is a red glitter. I'm not going to open it because it will make a mess but it's a fine glitter, it, it did feel a little bit gritty but I suppose all glitters will do but yeah, it's really fun. Then you get a lipstick, this is from Freedom and it's a classic red and it's in a matte formula. You have to excuse me if I'm looking in my reflection, it's just so I can see that I'm in shot. And I'm not used to filming because I've been hiding my face lately. <laughs> this is a Freedom Liquid Lipstick. It's in another red shade. Um, this is... This doesn't dry matte, so it might feel a little bit sticky. I haven't really tested it out yet, but I did wear it for a few minutes and it didn't dry matte. It stayed in this liquidy formula. But it didn't really bleed, so it depends what you're looking for in a liquid lipstick, whether you like that or not. I don't think it's going to be one of my favourites. And then this is a gel liner, and it's in this amazing red shade. I mean, this is so fun. It's a lovely creamy texture, and that's what it looks like. It's 
oh, I just I can't wait to play around with this. And I don't even know if I'm going out on Halloween yet, so this might just be in Saturday night sort of eyeliner that I test out. And then finally you get this little and then finally you get this little quad by Freedom. It has a purple, a burnt orange, a sort of brownish shade and a shimmery black. These might look a bit patchy because my hands are a bit wet from the makeup wipe that I'm using to get things off. But um, they are a little bit crumbly, but they are nicely pigmented. I'm not sure how they wear or the blending that will be needed for them, but um, they are fun colours. And again, it's a nice little kit because you get a good few different things. If you like red lips, you'll definitely like this because you get a couple of lip options. But I just thought this looked like a bit more fun out of the two kits that they had online. So, yeah, it's just trying it out, really. Now, I'm going to stay on the Tam Beauty trend because I've got a few more things. This is the rest of my makeup haul. There's a fair amount to get through. So one of the new things from Freedom is the concealer pots that look like this. Um, it's the Pro Camouflage Paste. This is CF03, so it's the third shade. And it's just a nice yellow tone. They, these are, again, really creamy. They don't feel waxy or oily. And they blend out really nicely. I don't know if you'll see it there. I tried this for the first time today. It's not really creased any more than my other concealers do. And I think this is about £3. Um, so, yeah, it's well worth a try, I think. I decided to replace the one nude lipstick I had and I decided to try a matte formula. This is Makeup Revolution and it's in Chauffeur. They do have a non-matte version of this as well. And this is what that looks like. I'm wearing it today with a little gloss on top and I do love this colour. I think it's one of the best matte mattes that I've tried in formulas, especially for the price because I think these are £3 as well. And the shade is just really nice. It's a bit of a greyish tone I'd say, you know, a bit one of those that are on trend right now but yeah I do like this it's a nice quick option as well something I was really excited to try it was the Pro HD magnetic palettes so I bought one of the palettes and a few of the eyeshadows which I'll show you in a minute but this is what the palette looks like it's in the shiny black packaging I've still got the plastic on top and you have a your magnet bit apart here and then a decent sized mirror just down here don't want to blind you too much but yeah even if you don't want to um, fill it with the Pro Artist eyeshadows, I think it's a really good deal because they're £5 the palette. But I'll show you some of the eyeshadows because I've been on a bit of a warm tone kick and I've got to say some of these eyeshadows are lovely. So I bought four. They all come like this. They have matte we have about 10 shades of matte, 10 shades of colour and 10 shades of shimmer I believe so far. And they come in this nice little packaging where you could really just keep them in this because they are protected really well. So this is matte 07. It's right there. It's just a nude colour skin tone. Just thought it would be good for blending out and then under the brow bone for something that's not in your face. So I think the eyeshadows are £2 each. This is a, another one. It's a sort of brick tone. It's colour 09. That's what that looks like. It's a nice brick red. This is one of the shimmers. It's a purple shimmer in shade 06. right there and then finally this is matte 10 and it's another reddish tone shade that's what it looks like it's a bit deeper than the other one and then as if I didn't have enough warm tone eyeshadows on the Tam Beauty Instagram they were promoting Makeup Obsession by Live Love London and they have some new palettes out as well as some single eyeshadows which can pop into the palettes. And so I bought eight because I have a problem. 
a couple of them are highlighters though so I'll show you those ones first so this is the highlight in Moon and I bought this because I it reminded me on the website of because you can get these from Boots um, it reminded me of one of the Anastasia Glow Kits I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but you'll know what I mean and this is what it looks like it's sort of got a pink reflect it's very subtle but it's gorgeous and then I got one of the strobe balms this is in Precious and this one has a it has a sort of blue reflect to it a bluish purple reflect this is what it looks like and then I've got it right there I'm hoping that'll show up because these are just beautiful highlighters and I've used this one with the moon moon powder on top and my god it was amazing so then I'm on to my eyeshadows that I bought. I bought a few matte ones which I will show you first. So this is Ginger. This is a nice light transition shade and I dug my nail into this one accidentally so that upset me quite a bit because it was when I'd only just got them. But hey ho. I don't know if you'll see that but it's just a lovely warm sort of ginger shade really. then there is cinnamon I'd say this is a step up from ginger Gin gingers on top cinnamons on the bottom and then this is burnt again these are all nice and creamy they're really pigmented and yeah just just look at that colour and then I have three shimmers so this is starstruck looks like that and then a step up from starstruck I'd say is Cosmo oh, gorgeous and then one that I'm absolutely in love with is Rare. And that's that one there. So I'll show you how these pop out of the pan. They are much like what the Fashionista shadows used to be like, if you remember those. They just pop out like that. Just press from the bottom and then they go into the eyeshadow pan like that. And so it's a really good deal because the large eyeshadow palette I think costs £8. So you're not going to be spending a lot because I think these are £2 each and then the highlights are £3 each. And then there's also blush and contour shades as well. So it's just really fun to put your own little palette together and especially as it's coming up to Christmas. You could just make some on their own custom palette and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. I've got a couple of NYX goodies. I've got one of the hot single eyeshadows in Psychedelic. The only thing about these is they don't have the name on the back which bugs me but oh well and this is a sort of limey chartreuse colour like that and I just knew I had to have this when I saw it I have a thing about limes and red eyeshadows so when that makeup obsession line came forward I knew I had to have some of those and then when I saw this NYX eyeshadow I knew I had to have that as well Another NYX eyeshadow is the Frostbite and I believe these are the um, Prismatic eyeshadows. This was £5. That hot single one was £2 I think. And this is a lovely frosty colour and it's got like a purple reflect to it. I hope that's going to show up really nice. But yeah, I've got that on my eyes today with just some liner on top of it and it looks really nice. I just love the shine of it. A quick little Christmas mention is Primark. They've got some little novelty blending sponges where on the packaging it has like a certain drawing on it and this is a little Christmas pug. I just thought this was adorable, really did. So I bought it. I don't know whether the sponge is any good. It feels a bit hard, but we'll see what it's like when it's wet. Um, something I got on offer on a sale was the Body Shop Shimmer Cubes in Palette 32. 
and these are the colours. I will swatch the silver one. They're really nice and pigmented and really shimmery as you'd expect from the name. Oh and I've just crunched that against the cap. Brilliant. That's what that one looks like. And finally, we're at the end of the haul now. I think I've gone a bit quick to be honest. Well quicker than I usually do but it's a bit dim so I don't know how well it's going to show and I have a feeling it's not going to be very good. But we'll carry on. I went on the Steeler website, they have a clearance page. If there's a site-wide coupon voucher code, then they tend to take the clearance page off. But I think it's up now and there's quite a few good deals on because I got two of the Magnificent Metals and they were £10 each and they're usually 33 I think. And a lot of people say that their little mixing medium has come half full, but both of mine have been completely full, so I don't know whether it's just a hit and miss kind of thing. So you get your little palette, and it comes in this little bubble wrap. You get your dropper, your mixing solution, and your shadow. So this is Metallic Laurel, and I've used this on my inner corner a few times, and it's gorgeous. So that's metallic laurel and then I also got metallic merlot which as you would probably guess from the sound of it it's a nice burgundy colour I don't know how well that'll show up on camera this is a lot creamier than metallic laurel Metallic Laurel feels a bit stiffer, whereas this one, it's just really creamy. So that's that. Right, so that was my haul. It was, I think I went through it fairly well. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little Halloween bits from Tan Beauty. I was really excited when I saw that they had a whole page dedicated to it. And there were quite a few more things on the website, like some um, white foundation and powders and there's a sculpting duo which is a white and a black powder I believe and that looks really interesting so if you are going out for Halloween you might want to get an order in and get a few bits and bobs especially those lipsticks because that grey one I have a feeling I'm going to love it so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it wasn't too bitty and bobby I tried to keep things in sort of groups of um, brands and whatnot and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog snoring she's a bit of a loud one and she's right there on my pillow. You've probably seen her getting up and about in the whole video. But it's a hard life for a dog. She's so busy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I don't know when I'll be next uploading. As I'm quite busy with my job right now. And I've just found a few minutes after my driving lesson today. Because I've got a day off. So I thought I'd film this little haul. Because it's been bugging me. I've wanted to get on and do some more filming. But... We'll see what happens next and there might be another declutter by the looks of it because I'm, I'm on a bit of a binge right now. It's very naughty of me, I shouldn't be, I don't need it. But as soon as I saw the Halloween makeup I knew I had to make an order and it sort of just, it rolled from there. So yeah, I hope to see you next time.